Hi guys, this is Michael from SM Cast here, and today we have got another addition to my uh, autographed collection, but this time uh, I'm heading in a little bit of a different direction, primarily because this is a picture. It's not a card, it's not an item, it's not anything. Now, obviously, I would, I would hope that 90%, 99% of the people that are watching this video should know who this certain chap is. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is Michael Gambon, and he is a very, very, very famous British actor. Um, this uh, scene here is when he played Albus Dumbledore in Harry Potter, as we all know, everybody that loves Harry Potter. And uh, I got this signed picture from the uh, London Film and Comic Con 2015, okay? Now, uh, the reason I wanted to show this is because um, I wanted to talk a little bit about their pre-order sending service, okay? So, um, if you can't attend the convention, you can um, send in personal items or you can request to have signed photos from said actors. Now, um, so... What will happen is, I've even got the post-it note just here, is they'll slap a post-it note on like that saying to Michael and Michael Gambon will come along, put to Michael and sign them all and off he'll go and then he'll, they'll usually either do that at a quiet period in the convention or they'll do it back at the hotel that evening or something like that or at a separate, separate time period. With Christopher Lloyd who played Doc in Back to the Future they had to uh, allocate a few extra days for him to sign memorabilia because he, he's, I believe that's one of the, the very first appearances he made in England. Um, for quite a while, so um, I managed to get a signed Back to the Future poster as well. And as I said, this one was done by the sending service, so 100% genuine from Showmasters. They're a really good company at uh, dealing with all your autographed um, stuff uh, for the convention. And that London Comic Con had loads of famous people there. They had Michael J. Fox, who played Martin McFly, they had Michael Gambon, they had Sigourney Weaver, they had Bill Paxton, they had loads and loads and loads of really really famous uh, actors which really good I mean Sigourney Weaver's signature was a hundred pound if you wanted to get Michael J Fox's you had to buy the diamond pass for him which was 450 quid to get an in-person autograph so you can sort of understand how expensive it was and I was actually on holiday at the time and I was really really annoyed that I didn't get the chance to get out to this convention but I'm kind of gathered sorry I'm gonna <laughs> I'm kind of glad I didn't do the sending service, primarily because I knew how busy it was going to be, because a few years ago I queued for the London Comic Con, it might have even been the year before actually that, and uh, we queued for about three hours and got about a quarter of the way through the queue. So um, not a very successful day, uh, <laughs> because there was thousands and thousands and thousands of other people there. So um, the sending service probably worked out better actually, so this is a really nice addition to my collection, I'm going to get framed for it, I might even put it in a photo album. So. Um, but there's loads of other signed photos that I've got that I'm going to be doing some videos on so stay tuned over the next week or two or a couple of weeks. Um, I've got Bill Paxton, I've got um, I've got David Bradley from Harry Potter, uh, I've got South Park signed picture that I believe is already on the channel, I've got William Sadler, I've got two from him. Um, so I've got, got what, I've got about three or four probably. Um, because I like to get signatures from also on memorabilia because had I known at the time and if I'd had enough time and I'd organised myself better because I'm horrendous my organisational skills as most people that know me know um, <laughs> I would have sent in a Harry Potter poster and had his signature put on it um, and I think if he comes up again that's probably what I will do because um, I kind of regret that because I can then take that around to other conventions get other actors signatures on it and that's sort of what I spend most of my weekends doing um, but the signature is crisp, uh, it just sort of looks like he's written his name in a really crazy squeal and the two Michael looks like he's written it at gunpoint because of how fast it looks like it's been written. But um, nice pictures, pretty good quality, just normal photo paper and then it has your name on the back as well. But I'm going to blur that out primarily because I don't want people knowing who I am. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I will blur that out though. Uh, but yeah, so you see how it's still, and there's even a black mark look where the felt, the pen that he used caught the post-it note when it was stuck on. I've literally just unstuck that before this video. I've got a shot that I'll show now of uh, what it looks like when it had the post-it note on. Uh, but other than that, this is a great picture and uh, I love collecting signatures. So let me know what you think of this video, guys. I know it's not very informative, but it's just another nice uh, addition to my video collection and my autograph collection as well. And if you want to sign... If, sorry, if you want to see other signed memorabilia, then uh, head on over to the channel. All sorts of signed memorabilia like this. We've got football cards, items, oops, get the camera, pictures, loads of stuff. Uh, so head on over to there, and as always, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And please give us a like on our Facebook page as well. We've got quite a few posts going on there each day with content, bonus features, uh, bonus footage, sorry, 
competition, all sorts of stuff. So head on over there and give us a thumbs up. And as always, guys, rate, comment, and subscribe, please. And don't forget to have a great day. Thanks very much, guys. Copyright 2016, all right, it's reserved.